that you know what I'm going to go in the prayer and see what God got to say. Because I understand I don't see everything. Come on now. I understand you may see something about me that I don't see. So I'm going to say, you know what? I might need to take that. I'm going to take that thing to prayer and see what God got to say. I ain't going to shut you down, but I'm going to take it to prayer and see what God got to say. Because as a Christian, I can take, I can take correction. Come on now. Because as a church girl, you tell me something about myself, I ain't coming back to your church. You tell me something that I don't like, I ain't from the get to you. You won't cut out your offering. But we say I'm a part of the body. The devil is a lot of what body? A counterfeit body. You stump your toe, do you cut it off? You get some alcohol and you get the rubbing on it and you say, come on, baby. I speak you back wholeness. I understand as a church, as a Christian, I can take the rebuke. Because I understand it's all out of love. Come on now. It's all out of love. I tell people this is a bunch of people that I don't understand. We the body of Christ, but we don't want to hear no kind of rebuke. Something is wrong. When your mama told you to turn the light off, and you didn't turn the light off, and she came in there and whooped your butt, you ain't going to run away. When she told you to clean that room, you ain't going to sit up there hoping to kill her. She better not say nothing to me. You didn't say that. You didn't leave. Matter of fact, I'm going to even knock even harder. When your husband sit up there and told you he was going to leave you, you stay right there. What am I saying? Why you stay there? Because it was coming, right? What am I telling you? If I'm a Christian, God called me to the house. I'm going to be there because of cousin. Same thing. I just gave you love and a wife thing. Same thing with this. Because I understand. You might have told me something I don't dis- I dislike, but I know it's for my good. Like my mama say, I will because I love you. If I see something in you, I do it because I love you. Because, see, you got to understand, we were talking about it this morning on the prayer line, even as a pastor, a pastor, the, the, what, they, what they're called to do, they're called bug uh, pickers. That's what they do to the sheep. They get the bugs off the sheep. So what do you think the pastor's supposed to do in the church? To pick the bugs off of you. The bugs is your issue. Your thing that you don't want nobody to see. That thing that you make you think you just so pretty. You so holy. You so clean. And that's when the Holy Ghost will say, oh, uh-uh, you need to get that animosity. You need to get that jealousy out. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Lord. Why? Because I understand God want me healthy. Because if I get consumed with a bunch of bugs, what's going to set up? Infection. And then if it get in your bloodstream, it'll kill you. What'll happen if you get so many demons on the inside of you? You'll get demonically possessed. Then you won't even want to come to the church. You go spread out there to the devil and you automatically gone. Unless the Lord come and save you. So why do we get mad when we hear the truth? See how that devil... See, that's a, that's a spiritual wickedness in high places that people don't understand. When they say, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. Don't you know that's the job of those demonic spirits in the second heaven? is to blind people where they can't see the truth. That's either trying to make people think they're doing right and they're doing wrong. And God said, I allow you, because we're we still coming out of Romans 1, I allow them to stay in that same mindset. Because I kept on telling them, you're wrong. Your 